Jackson 5, Tino! Come on, man. Where'd he go? What do you mean he's been fired? You gotta be. Hello, and welcome to the Community Wardrobe, Episode 6. Now, today. I got requested to do an attire of my favorite wrestler. Now, honestly, when it comes to wrestlers, I honestly like the jobbers, to be honest. Hey, on me all you want, but it's just my opinion. And my favorite uh, wrestler in WWE currently is Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, I know. Kurt Hawkins, the guy that normally doesn't get pushed. I'm also mad about his partner being taken off there to be, but moving on. So the first thing we'll talk about in this episode is the attire, and then I'll give some info I want to tell you guys. So, first thing I worked on was the obvious uh, stripe part of the attire. The second part was his logo there that he puts it between the stripe and also on the other side of his trunks, including his uh, kick pads. Now, I found it pretty hard to uh, do it, so I had to like constantly look on YouTube and uh, WWE.com just to uh, make sure that I'm getting it right. And of course, the elbow pads and wristbands wasn't hard because pre-made stuff. As for the knee pads, it's not really that hard either. The only thing I have to say against uh, this attire is the fact that since I had to use the crotch blur glitch, the logo doesn't go all the way down, so... Oh well. Also, keep in mind that normally, when I'm making these videos, I normally edit the audio so that it sounds more clear and less awkward and it just saves you guys time from me saying uh, and all that stuff just so you guys understand now the thing I want to talk about next is I'm no longer going to be naming my main character uh, Tino3121 he's going to be known as Tino, Tino Rouge, Rouge. That's uh, Tino spelled T-I-N-O, and then Rouge, which is uh, French for red, which is R-O-U-G-E, Rouge. Now, I'm a fa fan of Sonic, so no, I did not get from Rouge the bad, I just wanted to name him Rouge, because I thought it was a cool last name. Now. So on to the other subject, basically what I'm going to be doing is since WWE 13 is going to be on its way at some point, I also pre-ordered the game so by the time I'll get it, I'll be doing more of my WWE uh, 13 videos and I won't be doing uh, WWE 12. Not only that, but I'm running out of room for space when it comes to cause. I have to keep like deleting and remaking and then deleting and you get the idea. So yeah, just so you guys understand. And if 
if you like the attire, give it a like on the on the video. Now, like I said before, if you like the attire, give a like on the video, or if it's your favorite so far, then leave a favorite. It's honestly your opinion. I don't try and get you guys to do anything. I'm just saying uh, it's there for a reason. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not saying it just to get views, I'm just saying it because of just the fact of saying it. But anyways, moving on. So, if you want to make a request for a video and you don't have a PS3 in WWE 12, then just uh, leave a comment below or say if uh, you have a request or if you want a paint tool that you put on community creations you want me to use it just leave it edible and uh, tell me the tags in the comments so I can be able to go and get it and try and do be, so I can try and be creative and all that crap and send it to, to a friend or somebody if they, you know that they would have an idea on what for me to do next like I said I just have two more attires per se when it comes to this uh, WWE 12 community wardrobe stuff there so just t tell me whatever you want and I'll do my best to try and do so I've just been like really busy guys so with the uh, whole uh, school dilemma and all that stuff just a lot of crap is going on so just think Thank you guys for sticking around and just hopefully I'll be able to uh, keep going on and in the future maybe get HD PBR so I can do more than just WWE 12 and also expand on my WWE 12. You never know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm your opinion Persuasion and I am done.